let's talk about this situation. There is a little bit of a disappointment. I feel with the Ten of Swords, it's basically a situation where we felt like we were dealt the short end of the stick. It felt like someone we care about, something that we really hold dear, didn't come to fruition. And a lot of it has to do with a project not panning out the way we hope. A lot of it is has to deal with, you know, waiting on something that we felt was destined for us, but it was um it went to somebody else. So feeling, you know, for a lot of you it might be on the promotion front. It might be on the love front as well, where you are potentially passed over, glossed over in in love, or you know passed over for a promotion. Something that you felt was kind of like meant for you was offered to somebody else. So you're dealing with some type of residual pain and heartache and anger. I feel there is a little bit of anger associated with this. Okay. Now the thing is, I feel for a lot of Libras, you are a very accommodating sign. You are somebody who is um, who who's very diplomatic, who's very like go with the flow, and you have very very keen, sharp, uh, directed mental energies. You in a work environment, you do whatever it takes in order to you know do your job and you naturally excel at it because you are very focused and very intelligent when other people in your work environment or environment are not pulling their weight or if you're talking to somebody who seems a little bit like intellectually inferior and excuse me for saying that but i feel like you might lose your patience I feel in certain situations you are very, very diplomatic, very, very nice, but um, just you know, get, have a little bit more patience when dealing with them. I feel that um, taking a softer approach when it comes to communication is going to be required of you. Okay. On the other hand, what I'm sensing with both of these cards here is that a lot of the times, um, because you're you're so much of a team player, I feel that you don't stand up for yourself enough. Okay, so if you feel like you've been passed over for a promotion, approach them and just say, here is what I can contribute. Here are my assets and my strength. And I would like to know your feedback on, you know, why I was looked over for that promotion, uh, why I was glossed over for that job. And I feel like a lot of the times um, dealing with anger is something that you're not good at because you are very, very diplomatic. You are, you're very sensitive when it comes to like harsh words, um, really intense emotions. So I feel like in this month, this is something that you're going to have to grapple with the, the anger, you know, know that it's okay to express anger when you need to express it. Uh, when you need to like, you know, scream, shout, it's okay. It doesn't, it, these are normal human emotions. And I feel like with all the other emotions, you're comfortable expressing them. But with anger, specifically for a Libra, it is very difficult. If you're dealing with this, it is a really good time for you to, to express them. Okay. It's healthy. It's a normal human emotion and it needs a form of outlet, a form of expression. All right. What I'm also sensing as well with your emotional state is it's a little bit destabilizing. First of all, we have the Nine of Swords, which deals greatly with um, mental anguish. It deals with guilt as well. It deals with not being able to sleep at night, being kept up in the middle of the night due to some type of a communication. A lot of you might be waiting on communication from another person and um, you're getting the, you're, you're getting like, you know, silence. A lot of you might be in a situation where you're texting the other person, calling the other person back and forth, and there is like some anger associated with it. A lot of you are waiting on some type of communication um, that might be, it's sort of like you send out an angry message, I feel, and then the other person is not responding. I feel like a lot of you are ready for combat. A lot of you are ready to fight. And a lot of you, you have... Um, you know, responsibilities. It's a very, very busy energy and you might not even have time to work, um, to sleep, get adequate rest as a result of it. So make sure that, you know, 
if you must sleep, leave your phone away from your um, bed so that there's no excuse to be checking your phone and getting getting riled up when it comes to communication, okay? There's a lot of busy energy, and I feel like for a lot of you, there might be a situation from the past that is haunting your ability to move on, your ability to get a restful sleep. There is also like, um, it, it's sort of like, you know, I feel like we have the cycle here, which is the 10. It's de-escalating. So we go from 10 of swords to 9 of swords. So things are de-escalating, but you're still a little bit on guard and jittery and, you know, ready to fight and still like really worked up over a situation that happened. It might have happened in March. You're still worked up over it and you can't for, you know, move for move on you're still haunted by what happened and i feel like you have to lay this situation to rest because you have a lot of good people and really positive things coming through for you but in the process of you know allowing these new things into the fold you will have to put the past to rest and just know that the worst of it is over whatever this betrayal situation is it was an isolated um situation and it's not going to repeat so learn from it move forward identify the warning signs and the red flags so that it doesn't happen again okay it's okay to express your anger and frustration if those are the things that you're feeling don't hold it in because i feel like anger is something that is you you feel like it's a baser uh, human emotion it's kind of like with Aquarius Aquarius think that jealousy is like one of the worst traits whereas for like a Libra it's anger you know people shouldn't be angry because it's not a diplomatic trait for an Aquarius it's more like people shouldn't be um jealous because it, it means that you know they 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 feel possessive and people should not be possessed so that's what i'm feeling is happening here with uh with a lot of you so you know try to just express it it's going to be okay what i'm feeling coming through here is um, for a lot of you there is going to be new relationships for sure and it is going to be formed through your social interactions through your social networks get really get out there and circulate because what's coming across here we do have the lovers and the lovers deals greatly with um, a very very dynamic um, chemistry filled relationship that brings about a lot of physical attraction there is also we have three of cups as well as the angel here so it can be a very um, a very like dramatic relationship but it brings about interference from other people jealousy difficulties in getting the relationship off the ground and i do feel there might be gossip associated with this so it's keeping you up at night and it's also bringing a lot of stress and strain but this situation itself is de-escalating so the relationship it, it's going to be fine and um it's going to work out so don't worry about it okay i feel for a lot of you let me see I feel like you're dating somebody who is um, in a position of power and um, they might have like a job where they're in the public eye. There might be a lot of people adoring them. Um, like there might be a lot of people, they're in a public eye. There might be, they have, have a lot of admirers and I feel like there's jealousy coming in from other people, not so much from your spouse or your significant other or the person that you're interested in or that you will meet. But I feel like there's just, you know, a lot of um, rumors, gossip, jealousies coming through from other people. So don't let that affect your relationship, okay? Uh, what I'm also feeling is for those of you who are, um, who are involved with a fire sign so fire signs are sagittarius leo aries both of these this is a card of aries with the emperor here first of all i'm going to talk about the emperor because once again it indicates to me divine protection okay it also indicates to me that if you are dealing with a fire sign and if this fire sign is in a very high status position, 
where you know they they have like other people kind of groveling to them where they're in a really really um important high power position i feel that they might be very status conscious they might have a lot of people that look up to them so they behave a certain way they have this public persona to protect and I do feel as a result of it, it's like when you're with them alone, they act a, a different way. When they're in the public eye, they act a different way. And and f you don't understand why somebody would do that and, and like have two different identities. So there might be some miscommunication coming through or lack of mutual understanding coming through. I also feel as well, there is somebody who is a fire sign potentially uh, quite controlling in your presence okay this is somebody who is used to getting their way they can be a little bit um self-absorbed but more than anything i do feel that they they want the world to be to revolve around them now the thing is you are an air sign and you're like the social butterfly of the zodiac so i do feel that you make very very good impression on other people around you which means that you have a lot of admirers as well you are also very sociable you're very charming graceful attractive i feel like libras um there you have a lot of dimples like libras have a lot of dimples more so than other signs so i feel like it you have this very charming way about you and as a result of it i feel that there's jealousy control issues coming through if you are dating a fire sign but you know you have divine protection here okay for a lot of you i do feel that um you have somebody on the maternal side that might have recently passed away if that was the case like a mother figure mother figure or somebody from the maternal side that was very close and dear to you that might have recently passed away and um, there is very strong protection coming through from them they are sending messages that um, that you're not only you but your sisters if you have sisters cousins sisters female energy is um, is being blessed okay so you have some very strong divine protection coming through and i feel like it's either a woman um somebody who passed away that is considered like a maternal figure or it's somebody who is very dear to you on the maternal side of the family who recently passed away and i do feel as a result as well you might be dealing with grieving you might be dealing with the loss and they want you to know that they're in a better place and they also want you to know to you know resume your life and that things will be okay, that there is a cycle of life here, okay? If you are upset and angry for any reason, they want you to know as well, it's okay to express it. It's okay to express or provide an outlet for these um, negative feelings, all right? Um, in terms of your advice, we do have some very, very wonderful cards. First of all, it's telling you there is a time and a place for everything, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune is basically, the way I look at it, is a portal. And um, when it comes in during the Mercury in retrograde, it allows energies to pass through. It allow, allows people from our past that have left our life to come back. It allows that veil to the other side, to the other realm to also open up. So I feel like this is a very... Um, this is a very spiritual month for a lot of you. This is also the month in which you are getting a lot of messages coming through from the other side. And they are messages to guide you, okay? A lot of the times when people are in a place where they are feeling very stuck, very hopeless, and just uh, very distraught. They don't know what they're supposed to do next. They don't have a sense of direction or they feel as if they are stuck in limbo. And when you're dealing with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords where you are kind of um, at a low point in your life, okay, for whatever reason, if you're feeling like you're, you, you've hit like a really low point in your life, um, what it does is that it brings your energy level. You, you have very dense energy level and it brings it to when your energy level is dense, 
lower vibrational entities can get to you and it can induce psychic attacks okay so you have to think positively you have to surround yourself and and with like you know protection uh candles sage things like that you also have to elevate your vibrational energy you have to get yourself into a lighter situation so that you can reach higher vibrational entities, which is your spirit guides, so your angels and things like that. And uh, when we're in this, this space, that's when our spirit guides want to reach out to us and help us. Okay, so if you're dealing with this for this month, really take the time to pray and to release these these negative feelings if you're dealing with them so that you can get yourself more to a lighter vibrational space and you're not bogged down by negative thoughts negative thinking psychic attacks and things like that so this is a really um important month to surround yourself with loved ones okay to really operate more from the heart level and because i feel like for a lot of you your heart chakra is going to be open up and what it does is that it makes you sympathize with a lot of people, which is a great thing. Um, however, when our heart chakra is also open up, it can bring in a lot of insecurities and fears. So balancing these energies is going to be very important for you. And I feel like somebody out there is protecting you on the other side is protecting you is, um, it seems to me as if they are closing all these little holes and gaps on the other side of the veil so that you're not getting psychic attacks. And I, I obviously this is not going to apply to everyone. But if you're dealing with some type of grief, I just want you to know that they're working overtime in order to protect you. What you can do from your end is to surround yourself with light, sur surround yourself with good positive people, do positive uh, manifestation affirmations to release the dense energy and to bring yourself raise your vibration all right um what it's also telling you as well i feel with these three advice cards is we have to slow down okay life um life happens yes and we pretty much you know we we need to roll with it or we are left behind and yes, that is generally true, but I feel that a lot of you need to sort out some inner turmoil and it's going to take time. So don't run away from it. Don't distract yourself with other things. Don't um, re-engage in conflict with another person. And, you know, don't start um, text messages with you did this, you did this. And um, take a stop from it and process your feelings and get yourself healthy first and pick your battles don't engage in conflict okay this is somebody who's charged and, and like upset and, and very angry and is ready to charge and ready to cut down their opponent and it's telling you to slow down because there is a smart way to do this there is the right time and place where divine retribution is going to happen right now you're in a very um dense vibrational space and you need to get yourself out of there first so that's the first thing that we need to learn about when it comes to self-care when it comes to um when it comes to like the, the things that we need to do and in the right order okay so taking care of yourself first before you re-engage in conflict but overall pick your battles i feel like something is going to um aggravate you and i do sense that it is really important for you to slow down get yourself out of it first i do sense when it comes to relationship those are the ones that you are going to want to nurture okay people who are loving caring to you let the gossip fall away you are being protected from it so a lot of the times you know um gossip hurts mainly because first of all it, if it comes from someone that we care about that hurts because you know it, it's just it hits us on a personal level the second thing is we are afraid as well. You know, what if so other people believe these false rumors? What would they think about me? I just want you to know that a lot of the time, most people don't really care about gossip. They they hear it because it's juicy, but out of sight, out of mind. Honestly, gossip doesn't... Um, most people, when they hear gossip, they automatically think about the source of the gossip. 
And if it's somebody who is prone to gossip, no one is going to believe them. They just hear it and they let it, you know, they, they smirk, but out of sight, out of mind. So if you're dealing with this, just know that it's very temporary. You are being protected. It's coming from a place of jealousy. It's coming from a place where information just slips out and, you know, it's not deliberate, okay? It's not intentional. So just um, don't let it affect you, okay? It's not meant to to be, you know, detrimental or anything like that. I do feel it came from a place of jealousy and just get past it, okay? In terms of the energy that you're bringing to the table here, we do have the Empress. And the Empress is somebody who takes charge, somebody who is very sure-footed and who is totally in control of her own life. I feel that beginning of the month, this might be something that you've, you've been dealing with in um, March, some type of disappointment, some type of distress. Things are picking up by the middle of the month and by the end of the month, you're going to be in a very, very good position because we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is the karmic scale being balanced in your favor. And then we have you coming on top and we have you in a position where you are going to be able to tell it as it is. You are sure-footed. Sure you are secure and content in yourself. And not only that, you are a force to be reckoned with. So Libra, it's going to be a, a bit of a rough first, first week and a half, but the worst of it is over. Things are getting, things are being de-escalated. Okay. So it's going to be fine. Don't let your, um, don't, don't rush in. Don't jump the gun. Don't get fired up. Take it slow and ride it out and be on top. Okay. 